Landing, KOA in Monterey Bay. It's a nice KOA. Uh, you're jammed in there pretty close together, but it's clean. And it was a one night stop coming down from Petaluma. We needed a place to rest. We weren't gonna drive all the way from Northern San Francisco uh, all the way into Long Beach. That's a, that's a long drive for us. So we decided to just take our time and come down. Thank gosh we did. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, we found some good restaurants. And if you watch the whole video at the very end, we give you some tips on where to get some really good food. Uh, awesome seafood and really good Mexican. And we found a tip on the Mexican place. When you walk in, there's a bar, but that's not the real bar. Ask to go to the real, real bar in the back with the live band. That place, from what we heard, is awesome. We ate over at Phil's and the seafood is amazing. The seafood soup that we had, or whatever they call it, was outstanding. Um, it was reasonably priced and it was good. It filled you up. Uh, a ton of seafood. Uh, the park is clean. Uh, they let dogs. There's not a lot for kids to do here. So I wouldn't say it's a kid-friendly KOA. I would say more of it's a place to rest as you move down the road kind of KOA. Very clean. Uh, the staff was really friendly. Um, there's a guy that works there and he has a cat that he <clears throat> follows him around as he makes his uh, rounds throughout the KOA. The dogs seem to like it. Uh, it's really, it's a neat little town. If you have a chance to pull into this KOA over here at Moss Landing, I'd highly recommend it. It's a great little place to rest, relax, rejuvenate, and get back on the road. Other than that, enjoy the video and stay until the end because if you're going to come here to this KOA, you definitely want to check out those two restaurants. It's worth it. And they're not very far away. It's a quick drive or a walk if you're in good shape. Uh, a walk over to the restaurants. It's, it's worth it. Um, we're trying to grow the channel, so if you could like, subscribe, and share this, that would be amazing, and I would really thank you. Uh, we put a lot of work and time and effort into these uh, editing, and um, nobody pays us to stay at these KOAs or campsites. We do it, and we just do a video. Uh, I feel that when you go to the websites uh, for these campgrounds, they don't do it justice. They kind of take their glamour shots, and they don't give you the full view of what the campsite actually looks like. So I do a review and I give you what the spaces look like, what the park condition looks like. Uh, I give you my honest opinion of the staff and everything. So a like and a subscribe and smash that uh, share button. That would really help us grow this channel. Uh, the goal is to try and get 100 subscribers uh, by the end of the year. We're at 80 right now and I thank every single one of them uh, for subscribing and bearing with me. I got a couple more videos that I'm going to put out, and then we uh, we might go over to Pechanga here coming up and uh, do a review on that, kind of a date night with the wife and I, and uh, no kids, no dogs. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for tuning in. This is Papa Drew, and I am out! Thank you.